produced by Free Grace International in partnership with the Grace Evangelical Society. Hi, my name is Sean Lazar with Grace Evangelical Society. A question that often gets asked is, what church should I go to? So people ask us that question because we preach the grace message. We preach, preach the grace of God, that eternal life is a, a free gift by simply believing in Jesus for it. No works required to either merit eternal life or to keep it or even to prove it. Now, not a lot of churches teach that. A lot of churches teach a mixed message where they introduce works into the condition of salvation somewhere, somehow. Sometimes it's explicit. Sometimes it's implicit. Sometimes it's up front. Sometimes it's a little kind of behind the scenes. We call it backloading the gospel. So consequently, people ask us the question, well, what church should I go to? And I think the answer is find a church that is at least clear on this salvation message. There's a verse that comes to mind in Galatians. Galatia was a province in the Roman Empire. So think of a state. And probably Paul was talking to the churches he had founded in the southern part of that province or state. And something had happened, even though he had planted those churches, even though they believed the gospel of the grace of God, they knew that they were justified by faith apart from works at one time, they started to drift. And here's what Paul said to them, I marvel that you are turning away so soon from him who called you in the grace of Christ to a different gospel. They were turning away from grace. They were turning away from the grace gospel to something else which is not another, but there are some who trouble you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ. So there's a lot of churches out there that might have started off strong and they believed in grace and they believed in the gospel, but they, like the Galatians, were maybe not only starting to drift, maybe they have drifted. So my challenge to you is find a church that is clear on the grace of God. Uh, That's clear that it's simply by believing and works are not required to be saved. And that's clear that the salvation that Jesus gives is eternal salvation. That's the only kind of salvation Jesus offers. He doesn't offer a chance to save yourself. He doesn't offer probation salvation. He doesn't offer temporary life. He gives believers everlasting life. Now, chances are you're not going to find a church that hits every single point of doctrine accurately. Not every church is going to believe in a a premillennial kingdom, a literal kingdom for Israel, or that the church is going to be raptured uh, before the tribulation begins, or even that there is a period such as the tribulation. They might get fuzzy on things surrounding discipleship or things surrounding what you should you do when you're when you sin. They might have all kinds of little peccadillos, you know, just little errors here and there. But if you can find a church that's at least clear on the saving message, Uh, then you should count yourself very fortunate and very blessed. And I would encourage you to go to that church. Because the thing is, if you go to a church that preaches work salvation, chances are that's going to undermine your assurance. Chances are that's going to get you confused about the gospel. Don't think you're beyond getting confused because that's exactly what happened to the Galatians. They were taught by the Apostle Paul. And then some false teachers came in and started getting them confused about what you need to do to be born again. If the Galatians could get confused, so could you. So I would caution you against going to a church that's unclear on grace. And find that church, no matter how small. Sometimes we choose churches based on how big they are and how many programs they are and how attractive and how how good the pastor is at, at preaching and speaking. And we might overlook those smaller churches that are faithful to the gospel. Well, don't make that mistake. Go to that small church. Support it with your time, with your ministry, with your money. If they're clear on the grace of God, then they deserve your support. Produced by Free Grace International, in partnership with the Grace Evangelical Society. For more Free Grace content, visit GES's website at faithalone.org and FGI's website at freegrace.in.